What makes fresh pasta special is that it is special. It's a wonderful thing to have in your arsenal. Not because I'm, you'd think, oh, I'm gonna make it on a regular basis, but because when you do make it, it's really special and people don't forget. I'm making some fresh pasta dough. And this is one of my favorite recipes. It's nice and tender and moist, which I really like. So we're gonna start with two cups of cake flour and then add one cup of regular all-purpose flour. If you only use all-purpose flour, it's fine, but it becomes denser and heavier. And I like a light, fresh pasta. We're gonna add four egg yolks. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of olive oil. And the olive oil gives it a little bit of sweetness, but it also keeps it nice and moist and gives it richness along with the egg yolks. There we go. So we'll add there we go, see, keeping it nice and moist. A little bit of salt. I'm gonna mix this all together to break up the eggs and then we're gonna slowly start drizzling a little bit of water. It's difficult to say in the recipe how much water you're gonna add because it kinda of depends on the consistency of your flour. And you wanna make sure that with the dough that it can form a little bit of a ball, just like that, see? When you press down, it stays together. So it's nice and moist. Use the palm of your hand and knead all of the dough together. It's truly the heat of the palm of your hand that really blends everything together so you can get a nice, smooth dough. Form a nice, round ball. And we'll wrap it in a little plastic wrap. And Let's pop it in the fridge and let it sit for 30 minutes. So now what I like to do is cut it in half and then take one of the halves and cut it again. We're using one quarter to make these fettuccine and we'll save the rest of the dough for other types of pasta. Just make sure that you flour your hands and the board often so that the dough doesn't stick and then start to slowly melt and lose its texture. And the pasta machine here is gonna do all the work for us. You just turn the machine on, and slowly the dough goes right through the machine, and you just grab it on the other end. I'm gonna do that one again. And it looks like we're ready for the next level. And we can move it to number four now. You can kind of tell when the dough's ready to go through a different level, because it kind of just fits and slides right through. The next step is to cut it up into little fettuccine. Make sure it's nice and floured. Is it time consuming? Yeah, it's time consuming. And that's why you make fresh pasta, because it's delicious, but also because it'll make people feel special and you'll wow them.